Space is Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Kindred Spirits, and we're back with Yuki, and today we are going to battle Simeon, but not yet, because it's 10 o'clock at night, so we're going to let everybody go to sleep. Um, Yuki wasn't actually tired, but I cheated his knee down a little just so he would get some sleep at a normal time, and then we will... Hmm, he does know Raiden, right? Because, I mean, at some point we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to, like, challenge him to a duel. Yeah, there he is. First day of spring! Time! It would have been better if we had managed to get all of our ass-kicking and everything in, and then, like, look, now there's spring! Because we got rid of Elphaba and Simeon, but whatever. It's fine. Didn't need subs, though. <laughs> He's like, yeah. And then we're going to get some leftovers when you're done peeing. I'm going to wait till you're done peeing, because otherwise you'll get up in the middle, midstream, and then you'll be like, I kind of have to pee still. Because, you know, sim logic is not genius. Wash hands. Get food. What you going to eat? Grab a serving of whatever that is. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. I don't know what you have in your fridge, but you've got leftovers. What is, what is it? 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 Rack of lamb. Who made rack of lamb? I mean, you did. Did I tell you to make that? I might have. Huh. I, that's what I thought. I'm like, there is stuff in the hot pot. But we can't eat it. It's alright. So, it's 7 a.m. We'll have you... Can we magic spells? Yeah, huh? No. We'll empty the hot pot when you're done. What's this? Chilled from being cold. Well, you can't get to the hot pot. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't care. All right. Let's go finish. Let's take a shower quick. Just freshen up a bit. I don't know why you're cold when you're in your house. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, the heat is not on. Um, Excuse me. MC Command Center. Is it? Cheats makes him leave. Why the fuck did you just walk in my house, you dumb bitch? I really fucking hate when people do that. Because I know damn well it's not they're not coming in because, like, my friends don't fucking walk in. Anyway. More choices. Magic. Spells. Transportalate to the magic realm. Just by ourselves. And here we go. Ready? It's like right in the middle of him doing a spell. We gotta go to the magic realm. We've got to go and convince Simeon to give us. I wonder if Elphaba's still here as a ghost or if she's been replaced now. Maybe Morgan has had her replaced with a decent spellcaster. Well, let's see. Oh, come over here and uh, collect this moat. Then we should eat them. Let's see. Well, wait, up here, Morgan. Nope, Simeon's actually up here. What'd you do to Mor- What'd you do to Morgan? What did you do to my Morgan? Huh. Oh, look. She did get replaced. And see, Morgan seems to like him. Morgan is like, this guy is okay. He is, he might look slightly evil. He might look slightly evil, but he is not an evil man. He is a good dude. Okay, good, good, good. So. <gasps> Father and son walking back. No, Morgan, don't leave me. I love you. Look. Morgan. Morgan, you're my favorite. <laughs> uh, I love Morgan. Wait a minute. We can't see your reflection. Are you sure? Not? Oh, there it is. There it is. I was going to say, are you sure you're not a vampire? Anyway. um, We actually should have you absorb moat. Absorb moat. You're not going to absorb all of them. Look, Morgan's going back to his spot. Morgan's favorite spot. This is where Morgan lives. Everyone else is like, okay, normal things. And Morgan's like, no, this, this is mine. I just love watching Morgan. How do you not fucking 
Morgan is like the greatest thing to ever fucking exist in this game. I can't help it. Like, I... God, I would do anything for Morgan. <laughs> we know this, and I don't know how the hell we have managed to play a game... Any series of games right now where there is no Morgan. Okay, where the hell did Simeon go? All right, cool. Let's uh, absorb that moat too. Promise. Gibbs. And then absorb that one. And then we'll come up here. Um, discuss overcharge risks. More choices. Magic. No, where is the ask to teach ultimate practical spell? Okay, never mind. So are you going to go do that, or are you just going to... Did you just quit? Friendly introduction. Hi, are you a nice person? Enthuse about magic. Now let's come over here. Magic. Ask to teach ultimate practical spell. And we got a new moat. How do we get a new one? Uh, teach me the ultimate practical spell. Are you ready for this? Just FYI, I want to show you that F he's gonna. This is the last thing he needs, and then he knows fucking everything. I've never done this with another spellcaster. But look at this—he knows everything. Yuki is the best spellcaster ever. Now, more choices mean Whoa. yell at. We gotta yell at. Hey, you know what? I know what you did. Argue about politics. I guess he doesn't really want to oh. yell at him, but that's okay. <laughs> Yuki's too nice. He's like, you know what? Oh, never mind. You know what, Yuki? He's like, I know what you've been doing. You are a bad man! Even though Simeon always seems like he's a nice guy, but like, whatever, he's not in this. More choices. Magic. Oh, Abel, I can't. Abel, I can't. I'm trying to save the world right now. He's like, hold on! Hey, baby. No, I can't. No, I got to Yeah, no. I'm going to challenge Simeon to a duel right now. Yeah, no, it's cool. I'm going to save the fate of the world. It's cool. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, love you too. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. I love you. Come on. It's fine. Duel for artifacts. I oh, <laughs> you imagine the middle of arguing? I know you're evil. I'm gonna kick your. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, and now Simeon's yelling at Morgan. This is all you. It was the true of you. You killed Elphaba. And he's like, oh hey, hi Morgan. <laughs> I just like that Morgan got involved. Good, he's angry. And now I feel like Morgan is actually like coming in here and being like, yeah, you know what, Simeon, we know what you did. Uh-huh, and whatever the other guy's name is. New guy. Yeah, he's on my side. So you know what? You can't win this. Are we challenging him to a duel? Good, 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 good. And he's angry because we were angry, so we lost with Alfaba. And he's like, Yuki, you can't, so what? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, I mean, I guess he probably would have been yelling at him and being like, you'd have to beat all of us. And he's like, I already beat Morgan in a duel. He was the first one I beat, but Morgan's on my side. That's why he's not dead. You killed Elfaba. It was you two. It absolutely was us. He was suspicious. We know he was suspicious when we killed Elfaba. And so now he's angry. And this is the lamest. <laughs> like... <laughs> It's like, so they're like angry and now they're going to walk to the door and then he's going to die. And then like 10 minutes later, we're like, and I guess we just, you know, we still have to deal with Raiden. Don't get me wrong. But the huge, huge problems is having two of the sages. It's funny because that rock back there looked like a hot air balloon to me. And I was like, cool. It's like hot air balloons. <laughs> I was like, all right, here we go. Battle for the fate of the world. He's like, I'm not going to let you hurt my spirit friends. And he's like, the spirits need to all be destroyed. But if we get rid of Alfaba and Simeon, like, you know, Morgan's already kind of infiltrated on his end, the lower ranks and whatever, but, you know, we got to get rid of Simeon and Alfaba, and then the power structure will be broken for the evils. Except for them, we're going to realize that Raiden is still like, so we got to get rid of him too, but, you know. We thought this was all we had to do. 
No win scenario. Both sides lost an argument. Hey, look. I guess when you're doing a heated arc duel, okay. MC Command Center. We got a wand of the elements and the wand of the forgotten. New no, wait, wait, wait. Back. Uh, is it cheat? Was it under cheat? No, that's just where I was. Um, Sim commands? That's it, Sim commands. I always forget. Kill Sim! We know by Spellcaster Overload just magically he doesn't get a death. He just does that, but that's okay. Look at that. Trait earned, Slinger of Spells, Aspiration, com and we got our, we completed our Aspiration. What does the Slinger of Spells do? Wait, where the hell is that? That's over here. From completing the Spellcaster and Spellcraft and Sorcery Aspiration, a Slinger of Spells generates must, much less charge when casting spells. Look at you. You just saved everybody. Look at the, the beautiful, like, sunrise in the background. The, the face of a man who knows that he just saved everything. Sort of. Sort of. But. Your dad, Morgan, would be so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Look at you. Glowing with magics! Overheating. Well, why are you wearing your winter clothes? Because it's like spring here. Change outfit. Uh, let's just put on an everyday outfit. Let's just put on this one. Because that's pretty normsy. You should be fine now. There you go. Because it's spring, it doesn't mean you need to wear a hot outfit. You can wear your normal outfit. And there you go. So you could go back to HQ. Oh, Yuki. You did some great stuff. Let's go collect some moats while we're here, I guess. Because we really have nothing else to do. There's Simeon. All dead and shit. And he'll get replaced. So that'll be good. Um. Why is she doing that? Does she not know the magic? So, yeah. We're good. Now that we've gotten rid of... Simeon. So, uh... <laughs> like, this part is so short. We're gonna hang out with Yuki for a while. But, like, while we're doing that, like... We've got, I mean, we got to wrap up some stuff. So we got to wrap up Abel's kind of backstory and like finished Abel and Cyrus's kind of like stories and stuff. Um, then we have to kind of do, so like next week we'll do that obviously on Tuesday. And then Thursday we'll be battling Raiden. And then we'll just kind of have like one last episode to kind of round it out. So we have a nice 40 episodes and just... Chill out, hang out, you know, whatever, enjoy life, and everything will be good. So, you know, we'll have to poke back in here, I suppose, maybe later. We could probably... So there's Morgan. They were all in the same spot, but they're like, you know what, we're going to get rid of you. He's like, oh god, they're going to kill me too. Like, he looks terrifying and looks like he would be evil, but at the same time, like... I appreciate how kind of awkward he is. You know what I mean? Like, he's got, like, the goofiest nose and stuff, but, like... Hmm. We could, um, magic spells. We can't Repario? Why can't we repair that? Why don't we have a Repario spell? We know it. I don't understand why we can't do that. Huh. She is like... I'm curious to see who takes over for Simeon because now that we've killed him, his ghost is still haunting this place and is being crazy, but I feel like Morgan and whatever his name is. What the fuck is this guy's name? I can never remember his name. It's not coming up. I don't know. It's not like... It's not hovering. Arush? Yeah, Arush. Anyway. So Morgan and Arush are gonna have to, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, with the thing and the, you know, exercise him? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. They're gonna have to get rid of his spirit. He's like, oh, and Yuki's like, alright, I'll leave that up to you. And they're like, Yuki, get out of here. We'll take care of it. And then deal with the fallout. Because, like, Yuki's not really 
you know, because he's lived outside of the spellcaster realm and everything and hasn't been like in the midst of everything. You know, he's still kind of an outsider. And, you know, well, Simeon and Elphaba were using him. Thought they were going to use him. Come on, he's better than that. But no one else really, they don't trust him as much as they would trust, say, Morgan or Anoush. Or Arush? Was it Arush? Arush, I think. Whatever his name is. Anyway. So, uh, there you go. Yeah. Now, why don't you, <laughs> it's 5 p.m., but why don't you... Um... Invite him to hang out. I was going to send him a happy text, but I guess we can't. We can invite him over. He wanted to invite us on a date, but we should kind of keep him apprised of everything that we did. And just let him know. And also, why do we still have... Takedown decorations. Abel is sleeping. Let's, uh... Let's travel... Let's just go over to his house. Listen, bitch. You are not sleeping. I feel like he was mad at us. I feel like he was mad. He's like, I'm sleeping. You are not sleeping. What you doing? You're really feisty with that toy. If you knock it down, what are you going to play with? He's like, I will break this. Ah. <laughs> you just like hearing the bells, you silly bird. Oh, he, he's just going for the polar plunge, huh? Is he going to turn into a merman? Oh, he's in a rock. Oh, never mind. Oh, there he is. Okay. Why don't we come up here and knock on door? There you go. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? You're going around the back. Are you going to go in the house to then go around... To outside the house? Okay. Uh, wow. There you go. Put on your slippies. There's our boyfriend. Are you going to make out with him? Kick soccer ball. Okay. It's like Ooh. strange. Abel's like, okay, Yuki. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, um, so that we're just let them enjoy some time together. I don't know what to do after this, because when we're done with this, because Colorado's over, we'll have like three days with nothing going on. And like I've been trying to think, like crap, because I was like, well, I could do this. I I got do this. I don't know. I'm like running some different ideas through my head, and now I'm like. Yeah, I had the, but then I forgot, and now I just, nothing's okay. worked. So it's like, mm, what do I do? I just really enjoy, like, I love, like, the idea of the vampires, but they're not normal vampires. They've kind of got their, like, Ayakashi type form, like the way these guys were. And, like, I never really play with, like, the vampires and stuff, so it'd be kind of interesting. You know? But... But then I also miss Morgan, and it's like, well, how can I get Morgan involved in this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially because then you're like, but, or like, and I've also like, I had originally planned to do another Time Lord challenge, and I'm like, do I just go with that? Do I do some kind of weird combo-y thing? And then like, okay, but my Time Lord is like a vampire? And like, changes like his... You know, vampire Ayakashi form every single time. This way we can have fun making different kind of like creatures. Huh. That's a lot of work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I got a, I got different ideas in my head. And I just don't know what to do. Because I got like little pieces. Like I got this kind of idea, but then I got this kind of thing. But then there's this kind of thing. And then it's like that. And it's like, nah. and I don't want to, and I can't start like a whole like legacy or anything. Cause like, or then it's like, okay, well then the four things we have going left just feel like doing other. Th I don't know. It's like, because <sighs> I hate to say this, we're getting down to the end of this, of Sims four, right? 
and I don't want to start too many things. Like, start a whole new legacy. It's going to take me two years to do, and then The Sims 4 ends in a year. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going away this year. But, like, would next year be, like, the last year? Maybe. Who knows? You know, and I just... I don't want to start something brand new. But I also am not looking forward to Sims 5. I'm really not. Like, just some of the rumors and the things. It's like, uh, look... Some of the things are the things that people keep like, oh my god, if this and this. It's like, oh, I no, I won't play if it's any of those things, so. I don't know. And I really enjoy some of our sim, but I can't, so I wouldn't, like, I'm not gonna like, oh, quit everything. We're gonna finish the shit we have. But that's why if I put something else, it's gotta be something that, okay, it's a little bit shorter. We just play for a little while. You know, like this. This was shorter. You know, it had a story. It, we had some fun. You know? Be enticing. Can we plan a wedding event? Let's actually just fucking do that. No, 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 we can't do that. We can't do that. You can't plan a wedding event. You gotta do that the last episode. Bright and day. We've gotta do that the last episode. That's what we should do, is have them just get married and just, like, end that way. That is. Uh, Ooh, in the hot springs. <laughs> Cyrus is like, really? I'm right fucking here. Aww. Try for baby. Maybe we don't do that. No, we can't. We're not gonna go build our magical prowess. I heard you've been building your magical prowess. Honey, I freaking am the master. I kicked Morgan's ass. I mean, he actually did beat Morgan in a duel, which is amazing. He's like, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate my beating everybody. Yay! And like, see, this is like the false moment where everyone's like, yeah! We got rid of Simeon and Alfaba, and like Morgan's taking on the rest, so everything should be good. And then that's when it's going to be like, um, things are not good though. Something is still not right because Raiden's still out there. But you know, him having he died and like forgot everything. But now that we've resurrected him, well, I think it's going to be one of those. They're going to be like, did you, did you resurrect Raiden? <laughs> yes. Before I knew any of what was going on, and they're like. Ah, oh, shit. So poor Yuki. He did a stupid, but it's not really his fault. He didn't know. And then, like, he didn't know about the prophecy or any of that shit until after they told him. And he was like, maybe I should just not tell him I resurrected Raiden, like, once a good time. And, like, but then all this shit's been going on. And, like, he kind of just forgot about it because Raiden's just been gone. So, you know. Is that kind of thing? This lamb's cute. But it's cuter with a little umbrella on top of it, because I don't think that's the way it comes. <laughs> like, I think that's one of those, like, no, it's not a panda umbrella. I don't know which one that is. I think that's so funny that you came here, but you're going to go sleep in a different bed. So I'm going to come sleep over here, because it would be inappropriate if we slept in the same bed after I just, you know, boned his lights out. Okay, well, and then maybe you could uh, take a bath. I mean, I guess you're spending the night, whether Abel likes it or not, but what else? I don't think he's going to mind. Unless he's like, that's inappropriate. I'm hanging out at your house. We just had sex. I can't take a bath. God, you're rude. We're like, it's inappropriate that you spend the night at my house. Could you, like, sleep in bed with your fiancé, like, maybe? I don't know. Oh, never mind. Abel's like, oh, I'm done. And did Abel just go... Oh, he's over here playing in the computer. I wanted us to, like, sleep together, like, spoon, maybe. Like, hold each other, but... I mean, you know, in my imagination, because you can't really do that in the game, but... Where's Cyrus, by the way? He's got to be awake somewhere. Nope, that's Abel. Oh, yep, Cyrus is making breakfast. Are you making a salad for breakfast? Oh, God, you made a salad that you... turned into... herb-crusted salmon. He's like, and now I eat it. Well, sure. Um, yeah, we don't really have much to do. We're just hanging out with Yuki and stuff like that. So, And then in my head, as I'm, st I'm still trying to figure out like the fun things to do, like, huh. So many ideas. But like, I kind of want to be like, take all the little pieces and turn it into something big. 
you know? Because, again, I I never really played much. I have, like, spellcasters and things, but I've never actually done the getting all your spellcaster spell everything up. But now that we've kind of done it, it's like, well, that's not this one. But it would be fun to kind of maybe play a little bit with vampires more. But in the, they're not exactly vampires, but they're not Ayakashi. They're kind of just whatever the fuck. Like a weird hybrid kind of thing. Just so like, you know, they have different mythical forms. There's some kind of other mythical creature kind of things. Like, you know. And that'd be kind of interesting. But not like this where we kind of rotate around houses. More like... Uh-huh. They're like chatting in the bedroom. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Or just go to the Time Lord Charms that I was going to do. But now, but then it's like that seems so bland compared to playing with vampires. And it's kind of like we can't do both because... I mean, I guess I could, but like when I do the Time Lord Challenge, it's nice to have it done like three times a week. This way, it only takes a month to do an entire. Because then it takes a year. It takes a year if you do one iteration a month. It takes a fucking year. That is a long. That's like, that's a commitment. So it's kind of like that would 100% take a year, you know? I mean, we do have other things that are probably going to end <laughs> in a more make out with Abel. Oh, we can do that. K. Wes. Chat. Chavez Turka. Doyam Galeb. Mirvalis. Ask how his day is going. Oh, Kiss his crazy. cheek a little. Oh, he's in a row. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, go Share down. rebate day spirit. We're not buying anything, so we're not going to like. Oh. So we talk him. Embrace. Yes. <laughs> now I gotta go pee. And then do you mind if I cook something at your house? You're probably gonna get mad at me. Probably gonna get mad at me, but... Do we have any pictures of us together? I don't think we do. We have pictures of us and Cyrus, but we never got pictures with Abel. But you know what? We'll do that on our wedding day. Whatever. It's not like a big deal. But you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm okay with a year commitment because, you know, I don't really think, I think spring of next year, fine. I don't think that, well, I don't think like The Sims 5 is coming out anytime soon. And then like two weeks from now, it's like, by the way, here it is. Fuck. But like, I just, I don't think we'd see it this year. And if we saw it next year, I do feel like, okay, maybe at most summer, maybe in the fall. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be like... January 1st, 2022. Oh, God, it's 2021, right? Holy fucking shit. Even, I, even if it came out that early, but I don't want to start like a legacy that's going to be like, um, so, you know, every which way has kind of been on the channel. It was Kitchen Sink and it was this and we did the combo thing, but I've been playing that since we started this fucking channel. That might only be, by the way, I totally forgot the 200th part was this week. I was recording it and I saw it on my thing and then afterward I was like, oh, wow, it was part 200. It's been longer than that because we did kitchen sink and then we kind of merged it and turned it into every which way. So it's been more than 200 episodes and that thing has spent how long has my channel been going? I started with the time Lord challenge, but I was already playing that game before I started my channel. I have been playing that game for like five to six fucking years. Now, yes, it's in two different save files because the woman's getting big and I, again, merged two different ones. But So it's not the oh, same save file, but it's the same family. It's the same game, whatever. Like, it for like the law. I mean, that is unfathomable, but I don't want to get into something like that where you're like, okay, so I'm playing this alphabet legacy that's literally, and we're, we're starting W. We still got three more to go. That's going to last the rest of the fucking year. Like, it's not going to end anytime soon. And we're on short lifespan. Could you imagine if I played normal uh, lifespan? Yes. I mean, I guess if I played normal <laughs> lifespan and I just played on my own, it'd be way faster. But since I'm only recording like new play. 30 to 40 minutes a week, 
It takes longer, even on short lifespan, but... But, you know, and plus I have two other legacies that are kind of in the sort of the beginning, not quite the middle, that are going to take another year or more. Like, everything I have is going to take fucking forever, so... That's why I don't want to start anything that's like a legacy. But, you know... Like the Time Lord Challenge, you know it's a year yes, commitment. Sir. Doing the other kind of other, whatever other idea I kind of have is like, well, it wouldn't be a legacy, but maybe we'll just kind of deal with this. But that could be short because it could be something like this where like, hey, you're playing with the Sims and you kind of go through their story and then you're like, eh. But like if you do vampires, they never die. So it's kind of like, you know. So, I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out, but. We'll see. We got like I got like a week to fucking figure it out. Because we got this week, we got next week, and the week after. If I started anything new, like it's going to be like mid April, right? Because this is going to end. Oh, look at you two. That's so cute. It's going to start. Yeah, because the 40th episode of this one goes up on the 6th. I wouldn't start anything new until maybe the following week. But if I did the Time Lord Challenge, it would have to start on the 11th. So we had Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So it's like, I got to figure that out in two weeks. What the fuck I'm doing? You know? Um. So I don't know. Because that one, I mean, or the Time Lord Challenge is only two a week. Like this, and then it just takes... Takes six weeks instead of four. So it's going to take like... Longer than here. <laughs> well, he's like, are you trying to clean while I'm trying to play the game while I'm trying to do like whatever? It's like so bizarre. It's weird. I know this whole episode has literally been like, okay, so like Yuki killed Timmy and great. And what the fuck do we do next? But I got to think of these things. You know what I mean? Because it would seem really weird. Like, yes, on one hand. Oh, cool. I have some extra time. I'm only, but then it's like I'm only recording four things a week when I used to do seven or eight. I think there was a point where it was like I'm recording nine different things. Like how the fuck did that even work? Like, well, yes, there was because we'd have like Colorado on Tuesdays and Thursdays with other stuff, and I had to record, and I was recording nine different things, and now I'm like I record six things because if you count this two, right? But I look at like my current Let's Plays and there's only like five in there and I'm like, what the fuck? We've got to <laughs> We always had seven to eight different series on at a time. Like, holy crap. We're not dying here, people. It's not. It's just... I don't know. Like sometimes I just... I don't, I don't know. I just in the... And I still enjoy doing all this. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just like in the, I don't really, I went through the phase where like I had so many ideas. Like I have this idea and this idea and this idea. And I have so many ideas. And we started so many things. And I know we dropped off. There's a couple of challenges we never came back with. We kind of like, eh, it's not working and we didn't finish. You know? But I do feel proud of myself because I see a lot of people complain. I hate watching like Let's Plays and like starting with like people because then they start something and then they never finish. And I'm like, bitches should watch me because I finish. That sounds really inappropriate. But I mean, there's a couple things we didn't, you know. And there have been things we cut short. Like, I can't handle it. We're going to wrap it up. Like, we're done. Honestly, like, Over the Rainbow is probably the only thing that I, like, wrapped up so fucking fast and was like, I'm done. That I do regret a little bit. But only because our sim died at the end. And I was like, and you know what? Fucking forget it. I can't handle it. We were almost done. We were at the last generation. I was like, let's just age them up and see what they look like and call it. A, let's just call it a day. So, you know... But we did really good. It just kind of, I didn't end it like, fuck it, we're done. It, but we wrapped it up like, okay, I'm coming back next week. Here's what the kids look like. I've aged up. This is what they would have looked like. We would have just probably only played a couple more weeks while they were aging up and then been done anyway. But when our main sim died, I was like, you know what? This is just, let's just call it quits. You know? So that one ended a little bit faster than it should have. It probably should have had like five, max ten parts left, you know, but. Probably not even because like, well, the kids I think were all toddlers or whatever. They'd just been born, but whatever.
Boom and there's other ones that it's like, I'm going to pull this uh, out and I'm going to do some other things and then you just never went back to. Or things I tried. Like our vampire kind of challenge that we were doing where we had to like build up the house and or like vampire slaves. It sounds weird saying that, but like we never, never came back with that. Like I just never got into a groove with that. So we kind of, that kind of fell off. Alternate realities was actually a really cool idea and was fun, but I had taken it off for a while. We had a lot of story going with that one, but I took it off for so long that I'm like, even if I wanted to go back, I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck was going on anymore. And like, I'll think of all the custom content that's probably gone and moved and changed, like, because it's been like years since I played that one. So it's like not even worth going back to. But. You know. Shushni Shwebab. Floofy Yaspa. Ship Noy. But we managed everything else, I think. Those are the ones I can think of. I can't think of anything else that we might have, like... Now I'm gonna go look at my wall. I gotta walk across the room, though, because my wall is way the fuck over here. Let's see. We finished Ultimate University. Tangled Roses was kind of left off. Yeah, we finished that one, that one. I'm looking at... I literally have a post-it note, I think, for every challenge that we have started. We did Ultimate University. Before University... And, like, doing all sorts of crazy creatures and whatnot. Okay, Yuki's still on the screen. Okay, we finished that one. Tangled Roses, we didn't finish. Warehouse on Black Street, we did. My Little Pony, we kind of did. That one was a little like, ah, uh, we'll just call it a, we're done. We probably could have had one more generation, but, yeah. I'd say that's mostly done. Like, 90% finished. We wrapped it up. Okay, wrapped it up a little sooner. So it's a scattered-looking, crappy-ass wrapping package, but it's done. Oh, my God, come on. You're supposed to follow Yuki, so, like, when I'm talking, people are like, you know. There we go. Let's see. Runaway Teen, we finished. We actually went above that. We did two Time Lord challenges. Uh, Alice's Adventures in Windenburg. Yep. My Shuno Memoirs. Uh-huh. X-Files off Get to Work, we did. Backpacking Windenburg. 100 Baby Challenge. Going broke, Disney Princess, Disney Princess, we kind of fell off of too. Because it was like, ugh, we got done with that. So that one we didn't quite finish either. I'm dangling roses, okay. Get to work, Morgan Saves the World, Blackwell Crest. Oh, gray and hot water. Alternate realities we didn't finish. Where Dreams Reside, we did. 13 Goes to Scooby-Doo, Hustle Cat was kind of like a one-off thing. We only did like four episodes. I guess that didn't really count. Like Widower, Pendragon Legacy, which is actually what we're, which we turned into every which way. Um, Over the Rainbow, Shutter Speed, Life in Stardust, Hope's Peak, or, and then Jabberwock Island, our Danganronpa challenges, and our five or six different Colorado Chronicles. <laughs> Plus what we have going on now. <laughs> A lot of fucking series. Fuck. Jesus. I look at those post-it notes sometimes, and I am like, you know what? I... Just, I don't know, do I do too much? Is that what it is? I know I'm anno annoying and obnoxious, but, like, I look at this and I'm like, I do way more than some of, like, the big-ass channels. Way fucking more. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. But there's always something for everybody. You know? And yet here we are, piddly, tiny, and every time people complain about, like, the big game changers and shit, like, not finishing series and dropping them, I'm always thinking to myself... You know, some of us tiny, piddly little assholes on the bottom that you're ignoring finish our shit. Because there's a lot of us that do it. Just saying. That's the hardest part. I do that too, like when people like, I need some channels to watch! They recommend the same five people. It's like, God, you really can't. I purposely, when I'm out there, I'll be like, this person and this person and this person. These are little channels, watch them. But unfortunately, when it comes to little channels... Brett, no people get discouraged so easily and it's like oh, i don't have i got like 20 people that want and then they they do quit or they don't keep it up or you know what i mean because they're not like this is my livelihood i have to do it but in a way when it's not your livelihood and you don't have to do it you have more fun because the people who like it's their livelihood do that oh this got demonetized i'm just gonna cancel it and not do it anymore like get over like my shit gets demonetized all the time for like well especially atome games right there's a song in it. It's, they're getting the monetization. Oh, well. And I make like four fucking cents anyway. So, like, it doesn't matter. You know? So, I get it when you have a channel and that's what you're relying on. But, I don't know. I guess when you're just not relying on that, it's just easier to keep going if 
things don't work out or you don't get the numbers that you're expecting, like you can just have fun with it and not be like, okay, I'm doing the series and I'm going to try to manipulate this drama to get all this attention for the series. And then like, you don't get the numbers that you want or it gets demonetized. And then you're like, fuck it. You're like, I don't know. It seems exhausting more than like, I'm going to do this. And if you don't like this, I had so much fun doing this and I don't care if nobody watched it. I don't care. I had fun doing it. <laughs> Somebody someday, three years from now, is going to be watching this and be like, oh my god, I love this series. Hey, thanks. It's three years old, but like... So you, person watching this three years in the future, thanks. I hope you had fun. <laughs> People still leave comments on the 100 Baby Challenge. It's been like eight fucking years. It's been 84 years. My favorite part of that, though... It's not just people like, hey, I know this is old and I'm watching it. Cool. Awesome. It's the, oh, name suggestions for babies. Um, I hope you don't get offended when I don't use your names, but I can't because, like, it's been like a decade. <laughs> That's always the fun part for me. Oh, my God. You should totally do this. You did look at the date of the video, right? Like, uh, anyway. Oh, uh, now that I've just rambled about nothing and like everything that's been on the channel and just like, this was like a catch up video for anybody. <laughs> like anybody who's watching has been here around and has watched anything else. Like we have a million freaking series. I'm always amazed sometimes when I look back, I'm like, wow, I really have done a fucking lot. I can't even, but, and most of it was well. finished. There was a few oh, things that we didn't perfect. totally finish. Area. And I know some people have asked, like, are you ever going to bring the hundred, the, I mean, the Disney Princess Legacy back? No. I thought about it. Because, like, we stopped because we were only supposed to have, like, one child or something. Or, like, and we had a boy and I was like, fuck this shit. Because Disney Princess Legacy was all about having girls. But now I'm like, huh, we could just go back and do that. But I don't know. I like our Disney villain legacy. It's kind of what we're doing instead. You know? And, like... The thing is, is like, there's no difference in that, except for, you know, all our Sims are kind of awful in that, but I still love them anyway. anyway. So, speaking of, that's up tomorrow, in case you're interested. And we're at part 99! Almost 100 parts into that! It's like a milestone for the next couple of weeks. Like, we had part 200 every which way today. Next week, we'll have part 100 of the Disney Villain Legacy Challenge. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll have a part 100 of Venture Forth, which is the Strawberry Shortcake Legacy Challenge. Like, And then this one will be a part 40 and it'll be wrapped up and we might be starting something new. There's like so much shit going on. <sighs> a little stressed out now. Anyway, I'm going to go get a drink because I might need it after stressing myself out like this. Just kidding. No, I'm fine. It's just trying to think of what we're going to do to fill in, but we'll find out and there might not be anything for a week or two because we haven't filled in for Colorado. We'll, we'll figure it out. Eventually there'll be something maybe, or we'll have tons of other stuff, but so anyway, I'll see you guys next week with this. We'll come back. We'll be back with Cyrus and Abel and we'll kind of get the rest of their little stories, fill in the gaps there and continue on our wrap up. Hey, stop, dude. I'm hanging out with my boyfriend. I've been here like for 24 hours. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.